students. Um, here I've collected everything that we need for this project. I have um, my bottle quick instructions. I have the assembly diagram and the cutting instructions laid out here. I have a straw. Here are my fish and my um, aquatic plant. I have the substrate or the rocks to go in the bottom of the aquatic. Here I have um, some potting soil that I recycled from a pot uh, that was outside that um, the plant had already died, so we have some potting soil. In this bag, I have my decomposition material that I collected from underneath a bush um, in my backyard that has lots of um, decaying uh, leaves and twigs and roots. You're not, if you look closely, you can also see that there's already some bugs that um, are in there that are um, decomposers. I have some seeds for my land or terrestrial part. I have some packing tape and scissors, um, some food to go into the decomp um, chamber, and in here I have some earthworms that are already trying to bury themselves down in the dirt here, as you can see. Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is to take a Sharpie marker like this, and you're going to, according to your cutting and assembly um, diagram, you need to mark your bottles. And you'll just mark them all the way around. Okay? And if this is, for example, this would be um, bottle B, you would just make your marks. Then I use just a pair of scissors. Um, you may want to get mom and dad to help you with this. You just poke a hole in it and then you would cut all the way around the bottle. Once you have all of your bottles cut, you want to put your ecosystem together in a dry run. These are all the bottles put together, ready to be filled. And I've labeled them. This is bottle A, bottle B, bottle C, bottle D, bottle E, and F here. All right, so let's begin with bottle A. What you're going to do here is you're just going to pour in and you can use aquatic rock or you can use this um, rock that I bought here at the dollar store and you're just going to put enough in there to kind of weigh your ecosystem down. Then what you want to do is carefully open up your aquatic plant here and you're going to put that down into the substrate. Now, your aquatic section, you should leave overnight. You don't have to use the dechlorination <laughs> tablets, <laughs> but you can, okay? I'm going to use the water that they gave me at the pet store, so I shouldn't have to um, let it sit overnight. There should be enough water and everything in here for the... Um, Fish. But you want to stick that down in there and anchor it down with some rocks, as I've done here. Okay? And then you will want to add your fish. Now, I told you you just need to have one fish. I have two here, and that's fine. I bought them for about 13 cents each at the pet store. I think the um, aquatic plant plant was about two or three dollars and again I got the um, rocks at the dollar store okay so your next thing you want to do is put in B bottle B is just an extension um, to make this chamber a little bit bigger so that as you water your system over the next few weeks there's a place for the water to go I have drilled some air holes in here with a drill. You must get your parents to help you with that. And I cut a trap door so that I can feed the um, actual fish if I'd like to. Okay, so the next one that goes on would be C. And C is your decomposting chamber. I have used a drill to put some holes in the base are in the bottle cap so that the nutrients can um, filter down. Okay. And in this one, I'm just going to put the decomposition material that I collected from the yard. Okay. 
You want this kind of swampy wet, but not like mud, okay? In this chamber, you're going to put your earthworm. And I have an earthworm farm here at my house that I recycle my kitchen scraps in. But you can just collect them from your garden, either by digging for them, or you buy them at a bait shop if you'd like to. I have another guy right here. Okay. Or you can um, put out a piece of cardboard overnight, and they will actually come up to the cardboard. I'm just going to put the rest of this substrate in here. I'm putting some eggshells and some pieces of apple to help get the decomposition chamber started. Anything that's rotting in your fridge will work. I don't recommend onions or tomatoes, however. Something like um, apples. I have a little bit of um, eggshell here. Those are really great for the earthworms get in their guts so that they can um, digest all of the leaf litter and stuff. So there that's all together. Okay, so now we're on section D. I also have a trap door here for this so I can put some more food scraps in there if I choose. Let me take this acorn out. All right, so the next one then is D. And if you take a look at your um, diagram there, you have to have a straw, okay? So I've cut a big hole for my straw. I just picked up a straw from McDonald's because they tend to be really thick straws, great, um, not too flimsy, and some holes around it. And then I'm going to put this down here like this, okay? And this is my terrestrial chamber. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lovely um, potting soil that I have here. And I'm just going to put this down around. Okay. The straw, you just want to keep it nice and loose, okay? And you want to put enough in there but not bury the straw, okay? The straw is to provide air from one chamber to the next, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to um, plant some plants, like this one that I have here, and possibly some seeds. And I just have some water in here because I was soaking the seeds to help them begin to germinate. And I just have a pinto bean seed and some lima bean seeds. And I have plenty of these at school if someone would like to get them from me you can do that you can also purchase seeds to plant if you want or you can try some from your garden okay so I'm just gonna put some soil around these to make sure oops that they're all settled in there okay and then the last piece that you put on would be the extension E, correct? Yep. And F just keeps it kind of closed, but you don't even have to have F if you don't want to. Um, the last thing that you would do is add some water to this, which would be your precipitation, and then you can take some packing tape and secure each of these sections so that they don't come apart. And there's your ecosystem in a bottle. Put it someplace where it has great light um, not too hot, not too cold. You can leave it outside if you want, or you can also follow the instructions to hang it if you want to hang it, let's say, in your Florida room 
or on your uh, deck. Anyway, that's the ecosystem in a bottle.